you had this video, you contact 2020, what, you know, precisely happened on December 14th, 2020. What did you mean by God will show up? I don't think I knew what I meant. And I, I don't think I know what I meant. There are these times where I'm almost instructed to say something. And it's like um, someone who really knows what they're doing, giving me investment advice and just saying, trust me, this is what you're supposed to say. And so I, I, I think we'll find out in time what it was that that meant. I think in time, more things will be revealed. I, I suppose we'll find out in time. I think it's a process of revelation. I don't think anybody could have predicted at the beginning of the Aeon of Pisces what the Aeon of Pisces was going to entail. What it looks like is right now people are moving in a more individualistic direction than they were in the last two millennia. And I think that that's probably a, a corrective to an excess that existed back then, an imbalance. I think what I'm seeing right now is a kind of Cambrian explosion of forms, a kind of rapid differentiation of religious ideas. And I think the best ones are going to survive. I've heard it said that Aquarius is the sign of civilization because Aquarius is the water bearer. So Aquarius is the one who goes to the river or the well and collects water for the group. And so it has a very, you know, I just talked about individualism, but it has a kind of collectivist undertone in a certain sense because it's about community and it's about, uh, you know, it, it's opposite to Leo and Leo is kind of the sign of the self. So Aquarius is kind of like the sign of the group or the community. Yeah. So I think what it what it is about is the formation of probably a new culture or a new kind of culture, a new approach to civilization. I think civilization will change radically over the next 2000 years, probably because of technology. I don't even think we have the beginning of an idea for what kind of story will sustain us uh, as individuals and especially as a collective. The problem is there was something structurally wrong with the narrative that we had before, which is why the vast majority of people abandoned it. But there's definitely something wrong with the narrative we replaced it with. What we were drawn towards away from the old story, which was the Christian story, was alluring for a reason. What, whatever drove us to create the modern world, there's something about it that's right. So you have to take all of these um, dissonant elements of the modern world and find a way to work them into the old story. And I guess that'll give life to the old story again. So the new story is the old story, just revivified and resurrected, I would say. If enough people were actually trying to individuate or achieve theosis, union with God, that would start to kind of constructively interfere in a way that would create a new culture that actually could sustain people's drive for meaning and could fulfill people's need for it.